Hello everyone. My name is Noah James Gonzalez. Friends and families call me Nonong Gonzalez, a name given to me by my grandpa which I like, and a name which established my identity. I invite you, together with my mom Angelia, Grandma Nancy, Tita Gian, and my grandpa Jimmy, to come travel with me as I journey around the world to see the beautiful places, its people and culture, and taste its native delicacies. Lincoln's Park Zoo's dedication to primate research continued with the Lester E. Fisher Great Ape House was closed and rebuilt with a new focus on the two African ape species, the common chimpanzee and western lowland gorilla. Notable residents of this exhibit include Kwan, the current silverback in the Zeus gorilla troupe who appeared in the film Return to Me as Sydney, a chimpanzee named Optimus Prime after the fictional character of the same name, and formerly Keel, the oldest male chimpanzee in a North American zoo at the time of his death in September 2013 at 55. Custom-made stuffed animals of Guan and Optimus and their likeness are available in the Zoo's Wild Things gift shop. The exhibit has three spacious habitats, the 12,000 square foot Cobbler Gorilla Bamboo Forest, an open air habitat with a moat around it, dedicated to the Zoo's main gorilla troop. Two additional exhibits, the Strangler Fig Forest and Dry Riverbed Bali, each with mist netting to secure the animals, can accommodate either chimpanzees or gorillas. Huge glass panel give guests nose-to-nose -nose access with the Zeus apes, both in the trees and on the ground. The exhibit also contains the Lester E. Fisher Center for the study and conservation of apes, which encourages the zoo guests to engage in research and scientific development to conserve apes and the wild. The zoo's historic primate house first opened in 1927 featuring apes and monkeys from different locations and habitats in a series of small, identical bird cages typical of most early zoo exhibits. It became famous for its apes including a gorilla named Bushman until the great ape house opened. The primate's house interior was heavily renovated in the early 1990s and it was reopened as the Helen Bridge Primate House in 1992. The Bactrian camel is a large, eventud ungulated native to the steeps of Central Asia. The Bactrian camel has two humps on its back in contrast to the single ham dromedary camel. Its population of 2 million exists mainly in the domesticated form. Their name comes from the ancient historical region of Bactria. Domesticated Bactrian camels have served as pack animals in inner Asia since ancient times, with its tolerance for cold, drought, and high altitude it enables the travel of caravans on the Silk Road. A small number of feral Bactrian camels still roam the Mangstu province of southwest Kazakhstan and the Nobra Valley in India. The 
Bactrian camels, whether domesticated or feral, are a separate species from the wild Bactrian camel, which is the only truly wild, as opposed to feral species of camel in the world. These camels are migratory and their habitat ranges from rocky mountain, massifs, to flat, arid desert, stony plains, and sand dunes. Conditions are extremely harsh. Vegetation is sparse, water sources are limited, and temperatures are extreme, ranging from as low as negative 40 degrees centigrade in winter to 40 degrees centigrade in summer. The camel's distribution is linked to the availability of water, with large groups congregating near rivers after rain or at the foot of the mountains, where water can be obtained from springs in the summer months and in the form of snow during the winter. The Sichuan Taken or Tibetan Taken is a subspecies of Taken or a goat antelope. Budorcas from Greek Buus, ox or cow, and Dorcas or gazelle, Taxicolor from Latin Taxis Badger and Color U referring to badger like coloration. Listed as a vulnerable species. The Sichuan Taken is native to Tibet and the provinces of Sichuan, Gansu, and Xinjiang in the People's Republic of China. Although considered a national treasure of China with the highest legal protection, the Sichuan Taken is threatened by ongoing poaching and habitat destruction. The highest need for this species is further scientific knowledge to allow production of a valid long-term conservation and management plan. The principal threats to its survival include poaching by hunters for food and power. This has led to their decline in the wild. A reliable count of the species has not been fully undertaken, but it may have indirectly benefited from the protections accorded to the giant panda and other species. The cows give birth to a single kid in early spring. Within three days of its birth, a tucking kid is able to follow its mother through most types of terrain. This is very important if predators are nearby or if the herd needs to travel a long distance for food. Because of their large, powerful bodies and impressive horns, takins have few natural enemies other than bears or wolves. They are generally slow-moving but can react quickly if angered or frightened. When needed, a takin can leap nimbly from rock to rock. If a takin senses danger, it warns the other with a loud cough that sends the herd running for cover. Tucking can also make an intimidating roar or bellow. As I pause here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode. And please hit the like button below, for it means so much for me. 
Until next time, thank you so much. Special thanks to Iman Mosri and Anan Mosri.